gas company stores all the natural gas you use in your furnaces and your stoves. You store it a mile underground, right under the western portion of the well. We're standing right here, and this is considered one of the highest methane zones. Uh, Floodplains throughout the world are the, the place where oil is always found. Oil and natural gas is always found because you've had continuous for thousands and millions of years uh, organic material and just all kinds of stuff washing down from the mountains, uh, constantly being buried. And because that organic material, all the plant material or animal material, because it, it, it breaks down under high pressure, it eventually forms oil or gas. So the Wyana region had a, a very fertile a history of oil drilling. Much of the this area, the hills, the, the Plano right hills before they were developed, and the Venice Canals region, Marina Peninsula region down there on the beach, had was dotted with oil wells. In the 1920s, no home, it was just dotted with oil wells all over the place. But because of that situation, after a lot of the oil wells were removed and, and the, uh, the plan was, I mean this area that we're standing on didn't have oil wells. It did have the natural gas deposits that the gas company was using, but the, uh, the year 2000, one of the uh, uh, animal rights person activists who had been working to save the Guyana area was actually walking around in the marshes and discovered the bubbles coming through. She eventually took a glass jar, stuck it in the water, you hold it upside down, and you allow the gas bubbles to filter inside the jar. You basically fill the jar with water, put it inside the water, and the gas will basically bubble into the jar and displace the water. Then you take that jar and put a cap on it, and what she did was she then took it out and held it up with a video camera rolling, and then took a lighter and, and opened the jar and get this big poof, this big, just, it just caught on fire. That, those samples of gas were then taken to uh, what they call a petroleum engineer to determine what is it. And what they determined was that it was methane gas. It was basically the same, similar type of gas that you use in your stove. Uh, they determined that it was likely, it, it could either be natural supplies of methane or it could be from the gas company's facility. But either way, the discovery of these huge zones, that discovery led to the, basically the city of Los Angeles, which had approved the development of this property where the condominiums are seen now they, in 1993. The city of Los Angeles had to go back, order the developer to perform new studies on the site and take uh, what they call borings, uh, punch holes in the ground in a lot of places and, to, and to determine how much natural explosive gases there were in the soil. And so they have these huge circles of high methane deposits and the solution to those methane deposits has been to basically put underneath each building a thick uh, kind of plastic layer. And I guess a good question is, uh, how many of you live in Fountain Park? Okay, I know in my last tours I've let a lot of people move in there. Have you ever heard the alarms go off? Okay, there, there are alarms that are put there specifically to warn you in case there's a high level of methane that could catch fire because as it turns out, there have been people that actually have, for example, they, 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 they made their zipper go up and down and that created a spark. Static electricity or a cell phone can actually create the spark that can ignite that gas. And so people have actually gotten burnt stuff caught on fire. That's why they have those alarms. The problem with the alarms is that we've been told that they're actually faulty. That the alarms, they go off because somebody sprays Windex. So, so really, you got you got two questions. That either the alarms are working good and the alarms, and, and therefore they're finding a lot of methane, and therefore it's a problem. Or the alarms are defective and we never know when they're, they're going to have the problems. But the solution, the, the solution to the methane problem is basically then to put these plastic layers in to pump the gas out from underneath. And so, uh, and this is kind of an off-color joke, but basically, the, uh, what we, uh, the, to uh, a, a form of birth control, basically, uh, as, as you call, uh, basically, it's, it's, uh, it's basically a giant rubber. It's the best way to describe it. And, and as I like to say, uh, a lot of fathers know these things don't always work. They're not 100% effective. That's why we call a lot of these buildings like Nevertheless, uh, that's an ongoing legal battle. There's a lot of other ongoing battles going on. Our organization actually won a lawsuit that stopped the development of basically everything east of these condominiums. We wiped out the development plans uh, in a court decision by the California Appeals Commission on the completion of Lincoln Boulevard, the Whitening Project, which the state 